Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, tonight I'm not doing a shave because finally I am giving you guys the shaved in tour I have been promising you guys for like a month now if not a little longer. Anyways, here we are in the bathroom and um, I'm not lucky enough to have a big place with multiple bathrooms like some of you guys wet shavers out there. So, I don't have my own bathroom all dialed in with all my shave gear. With, so, um, but I make do with what I got. Anyways, over here, the left side of the sink is mine. Here on the left side, in this corner, I have my shelf. Up here, I have my Campbell's Scottish Broth Soup Mug, which I soak my natural hair brushes in. This is an old pill bottle. When I get done shaving, I'll take with the three piece, I'll disassemble the handle and I'll flip it with the part that the head screws into. I'll flip it upside down to let all the liquid drain out. Cause I don't want to take like my vintage Gillette fat handle tech and have water in the handle over long term. Got here my alum block, Razor Rock alum, which is kind of getting long, and a sponge that I just set it on. That way it dries nicely. Up here on the side is my, I call it my post shave shelf. Here I've got my blade bank um, container with rubbing alcohol, styptic pencil. A, oops, hang on a second, my styptic pencil fell over. My thing of dish soap, that way I can clean my razors when I'm done. Dollar General Witch Hazel, Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm, Nivea for Sensitive Skin, I believe original, and a couple of deodorants. I got here mounted on the wall. Mm -hmm. I cut the bottom off of my Vanderhagen stand mm -hmm. and my girlfriend drilled a couple of holes to mm -hmm. mount it up. And as you can see, I've got my 24 millimeter Razor Rock Plus Soft Barber Handle Brush. And the razor I used today was my vintage 1965 Chic Corona, which you can see is in. When I found this razor, it was in the case. I paid 20 bucks for it. If you look inside Slowly. the head, mm -hmm. it's all nice and clean in there. No damage, no pitting, no rust. It still had a Corona blade sitting in it. And it was just in beautiful shape. I just went ahead, sterilized it, put some mineral oil down in, because it was real hard to open and close, freed it up. And it's just an absolutely beautiful shaving razor. Anyways, and then here for filming, I use my iPhone. I have an iPhone 5S with an Otter box. So I put my phone in the belt clip. We got like for four bucks at Walmart. It was a uh, Velcro that holds up to 10 pounds per thing. Pop my phone in and just stick it right up there my girlfriend makes sure it's nice and straight when i'm done pull it off and that's technology is it at its best folks anyways so we'll step out of here we'll go into the bedroom where the main den is and we'll continue the tour all right folks we're here in my, my girlfriend's bedroom uh, this is my main den as you can see, it's a really nice china cabinet, but right now, it's just a cabinet. Now, mm. ah, it is a shaved in. Anyways, backstory on this for anybody that don't know. Girlfriend, I told her I wanted to build a nice cabinet or get a nice cabinet to display all my shave gear in because I've seen... You know, all you guys with really nice shaved ends and thought, eh, I need one. She saw this. We paid 300 bucks. 
solid oak. Um, made payments after tax and all that. It was about 350. As you can see, back is mirrored. It's got glass shelves. Um, and it's just a wonderful cabinet Hi. for shave gear. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we got. We'll start here out here on the right side. Up here on the top, I've got a Razor Rock. Up, up just a little. There you go. Perfect. 24 millimeter, two band finest badger brush mm -hmm. in the barber handle brush or in the barber handle which is a solid handle it's got some good weight turn right and do it right on your chest this here is my um, whip it dog 24 millimeter high mountain white in what he calls the tall amber handle this was something i won in a giveaway on shaving in the Leon's Den or Lion's Den and by the way that is shaving in the Lion's Den I'm used to hearing my um, voiceover on my iPhone talk my girlfriend just pointed out that is Lion's Den anyways um, got my 24 millimeter bore Omega one zero zero six six um, bore brush. Great little bore brush for the price. This is I've been told it is a Vanderhagen. It is a bore brush. I'm not sure of the size. Probably I believe twenty four millimeter around in there. Um, this was given to me by my girlfriend. It was either her grandfather's or her one of her stepfathers and it's a decent little brush this is my son's Vanderhagen brush that I gave him that's boar as well if you already saw my razor rock this is my synthetic this is my um, pure satin tip, black fiber brush. This is an excellent travel brush. I'm wearing here. This is, oh, my son, my, my niece, because she knows how much I love wet shaving. And she knew, she knows that my son, um, really likes the stuff I have so she ended up picking him up this it's a Paul Patrol brush but it came in a full set it came with this I'll show you guys the little razor and bowl when I get to it but the set came with this little this little brush a uh, little lather bowl what looks like a, a old cartridge razor you know it's a little plastic razor and it came with a big can of like oops we're dead though. I'll have to retrieve that here shortly. Um, it came with a can of foam and a can and a thing of hair gel. And so he likes, he'll sit there and just from time to time going, I want to shave. So he gets to shave. Anyways, and. Oops, hang on guys. Sun's brush, put it back. Down here I've got my moderns, mostly moderns. This is my Colonial Razors the General, which uses the Artist Club Blades. Um, wonderful single edge razor. This is the Darth Vader Inkwell style closer. Um, shave Up. shave stand Up. razor stand. Up and closer. Razor stand. This was printed up by Aaron Fugerick over at Frugal Shave on his 3D printer. The detail on it is just great. This was ten bucks. Um, if you contact him, he offers little knobs um, for the Merker Progress or Merker um, 
yeah, Progress, and uh, the Darth Vader head is one. All you have to do is say, let them know you want the Darth Vader razor stand. And he'll print it up. The only thing he needs to know is the diameter of the razor handle. Um, this one was 14.5 FYI. Um, if you want to put, say, a Merker 34C in here, that handle is a 24, is a 14.5 millimeter as well, or at least 14.5. It fits it well. Then I have here my um, Rockwell six six S stainless steel. Um, my Razor Rock third German thirty seven slant with the stainless steel bamboo handle. This is a great shaver. Um, now I've heard, I've seen, I believe on Shave the Man or Razor and Brush on Facebook, somebody was asking if anybody had issues with their heads trying to cross thread into the handle. I've never had that issue with this or any other handle I've stuck on this razor. So, I don't know about that. This is my Atomic Razor. Which, as you can see, it says Atomic Razor up there. I paid 8 bucks for this on Amazon. And, I don't know, this is a weird razor. One day it'll give me a great shave. The next day, not so much. I'm still working with it. My Mercure 34C. Mercure 34C two-piece razor in case you're not familiar with the style of razor you just spin the knob down there comes out drop your blade over the post over the pins drop it back on tighten it up this was my second razor I got for a Father's Day gift it was an absolutely wonderful razor from the, from from the first shave I love it it's one of my favorites and last but not least in my moderns my very first my very first double edge which is the micro touch one butterfly safety razor um, I've heard good things and bad things about this razor I got a good one that's all I can say I also have some single edge here this is my gym Micromatic open comb I believe it's from the 30s and this I paid 10 bucks for this up north, as you can see. Only problem with it, a little bit of brassing on the head. This I got for Christmas. It's a 1912 style head. I know that because it doesn't have any of the, the little nubs like I'll show you. As you can see, it's just got the blade stops right there, the little lugs, lug, lugs or whatever they're called. And the head, it flips up. This is very reminiscent of the Ever Ready 1912. Did you get it um, I got this. This was one of the Christmas gifts from you, hon. Oh. As you can see, it's got a solid plastic white handle mm. that's well ribbed, very grippy. And the reason why, like I was saying, the 1912, as you can see, and I don't know if it was all gyms have this, if the heads are like this with just the bottom corner pieces, but this Micromatic, as you can see, it's got the lugs and it's got this little square notch that pokes up and it's got these on the side and those help hold the, and those the blade just drops down on that then I have my 
1912 ever ready flip top shovel head as you can see nothing up here it's just got the lugs that's it on the comb that's why I say I think the other one's the 19 the other gym has why I said it's a 1912 style head if you know more about this than me then let me know this I also got up north I paid 16 bucks for it it is a 1924 ever ready shovel uh, um, hood style shovel head as you can see it's got two tabs here and two tabs here for your corners and the sides and it's got like a little travel handle pretty decent shaving razor once I start working with it it, it became a lot better I kind of didn't like it at first but now I'm really getting to like it Ah, oh, General Dam. Sorry, sir. There we go. And then down here, I've got aftershaves. I've got a thing of Jordash Jakar from my girlfriend as a gift. I got the generic Brute Green. I've got the Adidas. One of the Adidas aftershaves. Um, some, it's just called aftershave from the dollar store. Uh, Aqua Velva Musk, Aqua Velva Ice Blue, and Original Brute Green. Then here in the center, I've got up here in the top, I've got. Buddha and Jack. They're the guardians of the shade den. And I've also got, let me squeeze around here. I've got a shot glass that actually came from South Korea. Our friend and her husband went out there to see his family and she brought that back. Up at the top, I've got, it's like a little broom and dust pan, kind of barbershop-y, so, you know, that's there. Down here, I've got, oh, this I got for Christmas. I did a little research on it, and I guess these were popular. Hang on, I gotta step away for a second. Sorry, folks, my son, he needed his nightlight turned back on, so I had to step away. He's got a night light of a Millennium Falcon that's on a timer. He's still up, so he want me to turn it back on. Anyways, this, from what I take, I guess they were real popular back in the, you know, 50s, 60s, whatever. This is actually an all-nylon bristle brush. It is made by the... Closer. Over. This way? Oh, yes. Keep going. Over, over, over there. Perfect. Stay. It's made by Sterilized, and this, um, I guess, I guess it was really popular back in the day, um, I saw these going on eBay for like 30, 40, 50 bucks, with cases of course, so I'll do a shave with it one of these times maybe. Not proud of yet? Uh, just briefly, not for a full shave. Hmm. It makes it can whip up a pretty decent lather. And this here, I actually got from my brother. He had it sitting in his closet for years. Um, the top here was kind of all dented in, so we straightened it out. But I guess back in the '60s, they sold. I guess it was a wet shaving kit in here with mm -hmm. with with soap. And a I Gillette safety razor and a brush and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's down at the bottom, I believe it says something like um, Burlington. Let's see. Does it say Burlington, dear? It's so small. I can't remember. Chinico. It's made by Chinico. But I believe that they sold this. This one, I believe it said Burlington. It does. So, I guess it was sold in the Burlington Burlington stores, 
But yeah, my brother gave it to me. He just had it sitting in his closet for years, and he is like, "Hey, I got something for your shaved in." And like I said, the top was all kind of crunched in. It's still a little bit beat up, but we got it straightened back out. Looks good. So. And then I've got this. This is a 1920s oh, oh, Jess, there you go. Gillette Milady in a little case. This was given to me as a birthday gift. As you can see, it's got the old type head. And in case you're new to this hobby and you don't have any idea what I mean by new type and old type, let me grab a vintage Gillette. This is my vintage, 1951, first quarter, Gillette, um, 1951, first quarter, Gillette Super Speed with the regular tip, and if you look, the head, it's straight across, and if you open it up, it's pretty much flat on the inside, there, it's got a little bit of a curve down, but that's just for the blade angle, I guess. But if you look, if you take that, as you can see, the comb curves. And then it's got the holes there for the threaded post and the pins. And as you can see, it's an open comb. So, yeah, this is this is kind of an interest, you know. At first, I didn't know what to think of it because, I mean just check out that handle over left oh, sorry hey check out that handle i mean this right. thing's right 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 hang on there okay i mean right up right up there you go perfect that compared to this so, I mean, yeah, this is definitely a um, pretty small little razor. You have to remember, my left is your right. And then, the other last thing in my little display, well, the last things, this is actually... Right, 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 right up. Not that far. Right mm -hmm. This is actually old style barber clippers. Show the underneath. This was a Christmas gift because I was real interested when I saw these up in Northern California at the same place where I got my Micromat Jim Micromatic, my shovel head, uh, 24 shovel head. And my Corona, I saw this and I went with the razors and my girlfriend actually behind my back. <laughs> she ended up calling her cousin up in Northern California and her cousin went to the place, the Antique Trove, which is up there in Roseville, California, and actually picked this up, paid for it, shipped it down for us. So, and then... Pretty much down here on the bottom, I've got an old um, basin and pitcher like they had back in the old days, and that was a gift for my mom for me. Alright, so that's pretty much on the middle section. Up here on the left, I've got this here, my friend Christian, out in... Out in Hesperia. Over to your right, over to your right. There we go. Out in Hesperia. He got some purchases from Art of Shaving and they sent him two of these mugs, which I think just kind of looks cool. I mess with it a little from time to time. And my girlfriend bought it off of him, this one off of him, as part of my Father's Day. I've got here my. Um, 
Vander Hagen apothecary mug and it's got a partial puck of soap in there the the I can't remember which one but not Vanderhagen soap? No it's Vanderhagen soap I just can't remember if it's just the regular or the deluxe or the luxury. I think it's just the deluxe. I like the luxury scent better. But you know it's a good little mug. This is the little lather bowl that came with my son's Paw Patrol set. And here, this was my Christmas gift and the sterilized brush came with this. And this is a six, 1960s six rib um, vintage Old Spice mug. Mm -hmm. And in it is a puck of the Hmm, I love that scent. That's the Fine Barbershop, Fine American Blend, which is a barbershop scent. Anyways, so yeah, that's the American Blend. This is the little razor. That came with my sunset. As you can see, it looks like an old cart razor. Blah. But he <laughs> loves it. And finally in my lather vessels as I like to call them. The no. Crown King white porcelain um, Old West style scuttle, Victorian style scuttle. As you can see it's a nice deep one, has wonderful ridges. I need to get used them good this winter. I'm waiting for winter because it's just too darn warm. Hmm? Oh, it's just too darn warm for hot lather. You didn't show the name. What, what? It says Crown King on it? No, on that side. Yes. Oh, it says Crown King right there? It sure does. Oh, that's awesome. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Huh, learn something new every day. In black. Oh, in black right now. That's cool. Nice touch there, Douglas. Mm -hmm. Okay, down here in this middle one, I have a... Up. There's no date code on it, so I'm pretty sure it's a Gillette Tech um, 40s. I know it's a Gillette Tech. It's got a little bit of a nick here, but it's got the, the Gillette logo in the top. It's got a decent ball in. And if you're ever, and you're not familiar with the tech, one way that I found, because the tech here, it's got the center bar instead of the pins. It's got the cent, the little corner tabs for your blade. It's got, in this comb, in the comb, it's got little flow through points, I like to call them. Um, where whiskers and stuff can flow through and then it's got this thing that's like elongated diamond with some little drain holes down here in the bottom for your for the for the center bar to go as far as I know and I might be wrong if I am correct me but as far as I know the tech is the only one with this style of head and my fat handle tech has the exact same style head except for it doesn't say Gillette across it nineteen forties Gillette fat handle tech I got from Mel over on Warhawks World as a piff uh, well giveaway actually as you can see Gillette tech corner tabs center bar elongated diamond the little flow through points so and the style is the same it's a pretty just pretty much a plate then my super speeds okay as you can see you already saw this one the 51 w1 regular tip super speed the 1967 m3 um, 
Gillette Black Handle Super Speed, which I actually got these two as a gift from her of um, my girlfriend's ex roommate. And this, you saw this back on Memorial Day for the Memorial Day shave. This was my friend Dave's, um, who was a war vet, a World War II veteran. This was his 1960, I believe, third quarter um, flare tip super speed. You all already saw the Schick Corona. My very first adjustable. This is the E3 or E2 1959 Gillette 195 adjustable or Gillette Fatboy. Um, this I got from a gentleman named Johnny Palma. Um, when he got it, he sent it into Razor Emporium, had them tune it up because he didn't want to risk the alignment being off, shaving with this, and it was just too aggressive for his face, and I got it for 40 bucks. Wonderful, wonderful purchase. He called it user grade, but I thought it was in beautiful shape. And the last two that I got here in my vintage side, these. This is a 1940s G1 um, or 50s, I can't remember, but this is the Type G1 Schick Injector. Um, I'm going to show you all a little trick. If you're looking at a razor and you think it's an, a Type E injector with the Bakelite handle, if you think, oh, it's a plastic handle, it must be the Bakelite. Mm -hmm. If you can see that little seam right there, mm -hmm. that seam will tell you it is not a Type E. The Type E with the Bakelite handle, there was no seam whatsoever. The Type G does have it, even though they both look pretty much, they both look pretty much identical, but that seam means it's a Type G, not Type E. Anyways, folks, so that's the Type G injector. And actually, when I got this injector, um, I got it with the case. It didn't have the, 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 uh, the blades with it. But it did have the case, and the case was in absolutely wonderful condition. And I got this for 20 bucks. And this one, which is the Hydro Magic, I believe mm -hmm. it's type J. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it has a nice heavy ribbed handle. The head's all brass. Yep. The head's all brass. And this one, the guy was selling for 10 And I told my girlfriend, I'm like, hey, babe, when you go up to the store, go ahead and see if he still has the, the, the um, other injector. She comes back and she's like, no, he, he sold it. Well, she picked it up and I ended up getting it for Christmas. And the cool thing about these Hydro Magics, if you're ever wanting to get into these, if you don't have any injectors, now, if you see that stirrup piece, the Type E and this Type G injector, both have that. And if you go ahead and if you turn them, you can pop them loose and the head will drop, the head will open up. But they're a pain in the butt to get open. But the cool thing about this Hydro Magic, you flip the lever, level, lever up and you can get a toothbrush in there, which makes it really great for cleaning. And this thing, it was soap scummy and it just looked like crap, but it cleaned up really nice. Anyways, that's it on the razors. And this is my blade box. Let me grab the key. 
I got one of those command strips and command hooks up where I just hang the key for my blade box up on the inside. That way it's easy to get to. I got here, I got all my Gillette Silver Blues. Yeah. These are all my Silver Blues. Um, Persona Reds, some Persona Unmarked. Um, I've got some Astra SPs, some Derby Extras. Um, over here, I've got some Gym, Persona Gems. You got enough blades? No, I need more. Okay. Um, I got Artist Club blades for my general. Um, that's what I keep my blades in when I go to the bathroom. Uh, and this, I normally keep injector blades in when I pop them out. And this, my girlfriend put this together out of cardboard just for the extra plates for the 1 3 plate and the 5 6 plate for my Rockwell 6S. And that's what I keep my blades in, and I keep them locked. A friend of mine ended up making me that. Where'd the key go? Oh, I hung it back up. I think. Oops. Don't break the glass. Anyways. And then here in this drawer, I've got all my soaps. I've got yep. Sterling Executive Man, Sterling Piacenza. If you haven't tried any Sterling soaps, they're incredibly wonderful soaps. There, I can see why people say say such good things about them. Uh, mm, Razor Rock Z Pepino, which, as you can see, it's got the nipple of death at the bottom of the the tub. Yes, I said nipple. <laughs> Alaganza. Um, if you haven't used any Razor Rock soaps, they're not the most in-your-face scent quality as far as the scent strength goes, but they're good. They're good scents. I like them. Um, got here. This is my <laughs> one of my favorite soaps, K mm -hmm. Shave Works um, Hump Day. One of my favorite soaps. I fell in love with that scent the first time I ever tried it, which was a sample. Mm -hmm. From my friend Christian, um, Tim Soaps, Colombian River. To him, it smelled kind of like bathroom cleaner. But to me, it does have a little bit of that quality when you first open it. But let it set for a couple of minutes and it mellows out. And it just has more of a citronella scent. Um, Wickham's La Bleu. Mm. I love that scent. It is absolutely out of this world. Um, Bear Stern Man. Uh, Bay Rum. And then... Mm, Parasso Red. Um, I don't mind it. It's kind of earthy. I don't mind an earthy scent. Um, some people don't like it. Um, if you haven't tried this, this is the Jiaxing Feng. I hope I pronounced his name right. BFF um, Flip it over. soap. There you go. Um, you get an Italian barber. Um, I got like, paid like four bucks for this. Um, as you can see, it's got Razor Rock Joe's mug on it. Only, only, only knock to the whole thing is the top label's not waterproof, so it kind of wrinkled. But it's a good soap. It's a really good soap. Taconic. Um, Urban Woods. Which is cedar, bergamot, and tobacco. Which kind of first smells like an old cigarette. A stale cigarette. But it, the scent just grew on me really, really well. As you can see, nipple of death on that one. I plan on getting a new one. And 
finally, uh, which I'm almost out. Katie's Bubbles. This is I've had since February 2015. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of it, but really wonderful soap when it comes to quality. Corte Vintage or something? Yeah, something like that. And then here I've got a bag with a partial with a little bit of Vanderhagen in there which I figure when I get enough of them saved up I'll just melt them down um, a sample of Wickham Magnum body soap and the matching body soap to the Le Bleu. I got a little thing of coconut oil here I saw Steve the Daily Shaver uses it as uh, for pre-shave from time to time and it works it works well Cremo cooling it's got kind of a minty scent okay. um, yep. this it's not a real thick cream so you're not going to get a really thick creamy lather out of it but it works well um, I'm still experimenting with it Derby extra lavender um, had a bit of a menthol, a little bit of a cooling sensation from menthol, but now it's kind of gone. But it was a cheap, so a cheap cream, like three bucks. Um, a little spoon I have for scooping cream or so. And then over here in this last drawer, I've got uh, just, it's a kind of a catch-all. I've got a beard and mustache trimming kit. Uh, fingernail kit, you know, Somewhere. kit, like nails, whatever, um, my belt, just odds and ends stuff, oh yeah, and this is completely full of the heavy rubber bands that, um, like they put on lobster claws or vegetables, my brother works in a produce department in a store, and when that goes out to compost, he just snags the rubber bands for me. Um, 10 minutes down here I've got my dot bag I've got uh, cases boxes cleaning stuff for cleaning the den um, one other quick thing I got this which I'm gonna try when the weather cools off um, it's actually a baby bottle sterilizer but as you can see it's got this pull out tray and I'm gonna go ahead and see if it works as a towel steamer you put some water in the bottom put the towels on there heat it and then a set of tongs for going ahead and grabbing them anyways so that's about it all I got down there other than that is I just got some knee braces and some other things down there that just is not shave related so I figure don't want to bore you with all that anyways uh, yeah that's my shave den I hope you all have enjoyed it um, you all have some good days great nights wonderful shaves and I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade bye bye now